Welcome to Joyful Gen Yoga. Today's practice is a yin practice, which means we'll be holding our poses for a little bit longer. We're looking to get into our connective tissues, to get deeper stretches and start to break up the fascia in our body. So let's begin. We'll begin in a butterfly pose. So for butterfly, we'll walk our feet a little farther out than in a traditional Bhattakonasana. So adjust, I'm gonna face forward. And I like to sit right up on the edge of a blanket. You walk your feet a little bit farther out in front of you than usual. If you have blocks nearby and want to rest them, perhaps underneath your knees, you could do that. You could take a bolster or a block out in front of you as well. We'll start to fold it forward and release. Start to notice your breath as you come into the shape. See if you can let your head hang really heavily here. Let your body drop in. Invite surrender, invite release. Allow your spine to come into flexion. And then start to notice the length of your natural inhale, the length of your natural exhale. And then begin to count your breath. Inhaling for two, three, four, five. Exhaling two, three, four, five. Inhaling two, three, four, five. Exhaling two, three, four, five. Continuing with that pattern of breathing. In for five, out for five. When your mind gets distracted, bring it back. Your body starts to soften, allow that, allow the release. Taking another three steady breaths in this butterfly shape, allowing that release. Deep five count inhales, five count exhales. On your next Inhale, walk yourself back up. Help your knees to point up. And then walk your feet wide and just windshield wiper your knees side to side a few times. Coming back to center, we're going to arrive on our belly. So however you get there comfortably, safely is perfect. And when we arrive on our belly, we'll come into a sphinx so elbows will come right underneath the shoulders, and we're a little bit more active here in this shape than some of our others. So you could bring your feet as wide as the mat if that feels like you can create a little bit more space. And then take a moment to lift your navel, lengthen your low back, and then pull your heart forward. And once you've gotten yourself all set up here, start to soften. Keep the integrity of the shape, the structure of the shape, but consciously begin to relax your jaw, relax your brow, let your body grow rooted and connected to the earth. Notice if you're clenching in your glutes or through your legs. Soften your jaw. Ten more breaths here. Return to counting the inhale and the exhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, 
two, three, four, five. Inhale to fill up with energy, with prana. Exhale to try to release it all. Two more breaths. And as you're ready, start to soften your body down to the earth. You might take a cheek to the mat or rest your forehead in your hands. Think of this as the sacred pause, as a time to let your body reconnect, to notice any residual sensations from that shape. And then a wiggle of your hips, a little release. You might even bend your knees here in windshield wiper, kind of like we did when we were sitting upright, but upside down. And then allow your legs to get heavy and we'll slide our left knee up and out to the side, coming into a half frog shape. Now again, cheek could be at the mat or forehead here. We won't be here too long. Just taking a moment to get a little opening through the hip. Return to inhaling, two, three, four, five. Exhaling, two, three, four, five. Continue on with that breath. One more full inhale on this side. And then as you exhale, extend the left leg back behind you. Pause. Notice if your hips or your pelvis feel any different. And then we'll slide the right leg out to the side. As much as feels good. And then drop back in. Return to that steady breath. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Begin to extend the right leg back behind you. Again, a little wiggle of the hips if that feels good. And then slide your hands in line with your chest. We'll lift up into all fours and we'll make our way into child's pose. I like to take a blanket underneath my knees for child's pose. You don't have to. I just think it's more comfortable that way. 
Knees can go really wide here if you'd like, as wide as the mat, big toes together to touch, and then start to crawl yourself forward. Let your forehead rest on the mat or on a block. What would it feel like to extend your arms out in front of you and let your palms face up to the sky? Coming back to the steady breath in for two, three, four, five, and exhaling two, three, four, five. And then keeping that breath pattern, but focusing your attention on your low back. Can you imagine that you're breathing into the area of your low back? Sending energy, sending prana, creating space. Five more softening breaths here. When you're ready, slowly make your way up to all fours. <clears throat> when you arrive, let the knees come underneath your hips, hands under your shoulders. Inhale, pull your heart forward. And then exhale, round, press the heart up to the sky. Inhale, lengthen your front body forward. Exhale, round in. One more cat cow. Inhale, heart draws forward. And exhale, round it in. Inhale, find neutral. And then we'll come to sit in a hero's pose or something that looks similar to a hero's pose, kneeling if it feels okay. If this is bothersome to your knees, one of two things. You could take a block and place it underneath your sits bones for a little elevation, or you could sit cross-legged if that would work better for you. We're gonna take our left arm, reach it up to the sky, bend our left elbow, and give ourselves a pat on the back. Ribs pull down slightly as we take our right hand to the left elbow and give ourselves a nice little shoulder stretch. Try not to cheat by letting your ribs pop out. gently release that left hand, sweep it back behind you, either back of the hands on your sacrum, or if it feels okay, start to transition your hand so it's working its way up your spine. You can take the right hand and reach for your wrist, your forearm, or even your elbow to help get that stretch here. We'll hold for five breaths.
gently relax that or oh, give your arms a shake your shoulders will feel that for sure cross that left arm right across your chest and hold on to your left forearm with your right hand one last little shoulder stretch for that left arm Gently release both arms, give a little shake. Right arm reaches up. We bend that right elbow, pat ourselves on the back, left hand, right elbow. Again, watch that tendency to want to cheat with popping the low ribs. Keep the ribs down so this is a stretch in your shoulders and not in your rib cage. more breath. And gently release. Arms stretch up and then take that right arm back behind you again. Right hand to the sacrum, that might be plenty of stretch, that internal rotation, that right shoulder might, might feel like a lot. If you can, you might help the right hand to travel up the spine, I and mean, I hope you can see what I'm trying to show you here. So it's the bottom half of our Gomukhasana arms, or our cow face arms. And then that left hand is just assisting the right arm, right? It's giving it a little help here, a little hold. Notice if one side feels inherently tighter than the other. And gently release. Both arms get a little shake, and then we'll cross the right arm across your chest. Left hand helps it out here. Consciously dropping that right shoulder a little bit, getting a stretch through your delts. Soft jaw, soft brow, deep breath. Gently release. Both arms get a shake and then sweep your arms back behind you. Interlace your fingers, lift your heart, lift your chest and draw your arms slightly away from your body. Five breaths here. Gently release that, another little shake of your arms, let that energy go. And then take your hands together, interlace your fingers, and start to figure eight your hands. I always giggle because I find this to be a challenging thing to motor plan. And it's like, all right, I finally have something that looks like a figure eight. And then of course, we've got to make it more challenging. Pause, go the other way. So you're figure eighting the opposite way. I don't think that's what my wrists are doing, but that's what I'm intending for them to do. <laughs> Take another breath and give it a shake. If you're sitting on something, go ahead and come off of it for a moment. And we'll tuck our toes if this feels like okay. Again, if it's okay and comfortable enough for you to kneel. Now you might be essentially in a table position. That might be the amount of sensation that feels okay in your ankles. You might walk back a little bit so that there's more weight in your feet.
feet. So your toes are tucked under, you're getting a big stretch in the fascia of your feet. This could be our pose. If you're feeling okay, you might sit all the way back on your heels. Wherever we are, we're here for five steady breaths. your mind. Gently come forward again. Pat up the tops of your feet. Staying in all fours, take the top of your left hand to the ground. So your fingertips are facing you, the back of the hands on the earth. Three breaths here. Bring the left fingertips out in front of you. Slide your right forearm parallel to the top of the mat. Rest your forehead on your, fore, on your forearm and let your heart and chest melt to the ground. We call this sometimes a quarter dog in the in pose. So it's like half of a puppy pose. And puppy pose is half of down dog if you want to think of it. Another steady breath in and out. And we'll come back up through all fours. Take the top of the right hand down to the earth this time. Steady breaths, big stretch for that wrist. Walk the right fingertips forward, left forearm parallel to the top of the mat. Rest your forehead down and stretch that right arm out in front of you. Melt that right side of your chest and shoulder down to the earth. Gently begin to lift back up to all fours. And from all fours, we'll bring ourselves down onto our bum. If you're using a blanket, slide it off to the side. And we'll come all the way down onto our back. Right ankle crosses over the left thigh. The left thigh comes in towards your chest, holding your shin or your hamstring. Coming into a figure four. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Five more steady breaths in this figure four.
gently release the left foot down. You give the right leg a little shake and then release the right foot down. Left ankle crosses over the right thigh and we hug that knee in. Again, you can interlace your hands. Return to your steady breath if you've lost it. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Notice with every breath in, if you can feel the back body press a little bit more into the earth. Notice if with every exhale, you can invite a softening, a letting go. And no need to hold anymore. Three more breaths. Releasing the right foot down, giving the left leg a nice little shake. And then releasing both feet to the floor, widening the stance and letting your knees knock in towards center. And letting knees start to move to the left slowly and then to the right. A couple more windshield wipers here. Back to center, draw your knees towards your armpits. And make a choice here. Your shins can stay kind of parallel to the sky, or you could reach up for your feet, coming into a full happy baby. Letting your hips sink heavy. Let your tailbone lengthen down. Steadiness in your breath. Release in that back body. Notice if after holding in stillness for a breath or two, if you start to feel a little fatigue in your arms or in your shoulders. Be with that, be with what shows up. Inhaling to Three, four, five. Exhaling to three, four, five. Gently releasing your feet down toward the earth, working your way towards Shavasana, letting your legs extend out, letting your palms rest open at your side if that's comfortable. Take a moment to wiggle your hips a little. Maybe scrunch up the muscles of your face and then let those go. Maybe even make fists or point your toes, really engage the muscles like we haven't for this practice. 
and then soften that all to the crown. Notice if that tension relaxation helps to release any of the remaining layers, any of the residue that's holding tight in your body. Let it go. Working the process of yoga, chitta, vritti, nirodaha, this idea of stilling the fluctuations of your mind. Notice if when your body is still, if your thoughts will become still, if your mind will become still. Some of us, when our body is still, our mind gets more active. Just notice what shows up for you without judgment, but with true and earnest inquiry and observation. Three more breaths here in rest. You can also wiggle through your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms up overhead, and then hug your knees into your chest. A little rock side to side if that would feel good. Roll to your favorite side. Use your hands to help you back up to a seat. And then come into whatever cross-legged seat works for you here. Notice if your hips Shoulders, back body feel any more open. Notice if you were able to elicit a relaxation response. Notice if you feel like you can breathe more deeply. Arms. <laughs> Arms stretch up overhead. Exhale, hands come to heart. Bowing your forehead to fingertips in gratitude. I wish you abundant joy. Be well. <laughs>